What is going on folks, Nimble Thor here and welcome back guys to this daily quest of finding the very best mobile games and today we are going to have a first impressions look at Goons.io which is a brand new .io game. You guys probably know these types of games already from Agario when that went viral a few years ago and this one is a new one and it runs super smoothly, it's a great game and honestly I was planning to make a really really great first impressions video of this game. I enjoy playing it, I've been playing it for around 15 minutes or so, it runs super smoothly you can unlock new skins, they are awesome, it's fun, it's enough of a challenge to uh, to be fun, but still you feel like you can pretty pretty quickly progress on the leaderboards there on the left side of the screen. But then it hit me as I was looking at the reviews of this game that there might be too many ads in the game and I was actually experiencing that myself as well, which really really sucked, there were a lot of them, but right now as you guys can see there are no ads, so why is this? The mystery continues, well guys it is because I am playing in offline mode. Yes, you heard that correct. In offline mode. I'm playing an IO game in offline mode. These games are supposed to be online, but this game is not. And they don't really tell you that it's not online, and they don't really say that it is online either, so it's not like they're really lying. But I was just expecting this game to be online, and now that I know that it's not online, I don't know what to feel anymore. It's still a fun game, I can't deny that, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. But since it's not online, I feel like they could very easily tweak settings to make it difficult at just the right times. If I've survived long enough, they could make the AI, the bots, a bit more clever just so I would die and it would play an ad. And I don't really like that. I'm not saying the developers are doing that. I'm just saying they could do that. And I don't like the idea of that. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's okay to do something like this where you kind of tell, well, players can't expect that it's online and you don't ever really tell that it's not online? Is that okay? I mean, I don't know. We had kind of the same thing with Last Day on Earth Survival. That game was not online either. It was not online multiplayer and I actually thought it was. You guys know that if you watched my video on it. I thought that we were actually defeating another player. But we weren't really because it was just, it was all bots. It was just controlled by bots. There were no other real players in the game. And again, it's the same thing. They didn't really say that there were online multiplayer implemented in the game yet. At least not when, when I played the game. But still, it kind of sucked. And because I had this expectation that it would be there. That's my opinion on this game. It's still a lot of fun though and with I'm playing in uh, in offline mode right now and there are no ads and in this way it's actually a lot of fun to play because there are no ads and that's what frustrated me the most. As I said there's a ton of cool skins if we can die just for a sec here. Let's see if we can die real quick. Uh, kill us, kill us, kill us. Yes, I want to show you guys the skins real quick. Over here we've got the skins so we can like these developers on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, you can subscribe to them, you can watch an ad to unlock some of these, and then you unlock them, for example, by getting a 5 kills combo, get 500 kills in total. There are these different challenges that you have to go through. Get a total of 1000 kills to unlock uh, the washer over there, which is kind of cool. And you guys can see that our record right now is 17 kills. So overall, it's not a bad game, it's just a bit decisive, because these types of games, you do expect them to be online, and this one is not online. But what do you guys think? I'm really curious to hear what you think about the game. Let me know down in the comment section down below. And also, please share what your favorite actual online.io game is. Because I'd love to play it if you guys have any favorites. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this rather strange video. I wouldn't really call it a rant, but it's not a typical uh, typical first impressions video either. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to share this video with one of your friends so we can keep growing this awesome community of people who just love mobile gaming. And until next time, guys, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I will see you guys around.